Today I want to talk about finding the surface area of a rectangular prism, a cylinder, and a sphere. What you're finding here is basically how much you would have to color if you were to color the outside of your shapes. So the rectangular prism, something like a book or a box, you need to find the length, the width, and the height. If you do that, you plug them in and you solve it and you get your surface area. So let's do that. 2 times the length is 9. The width is 5 plus 2 times the length we said was 9 the height in this case is 3 plus 2 times the width and the height from here you can plug that into your calculator and solve you should do let's see 2 times 9 times 5 is 90 plus 2 times 9 times 3 is 54 plus 2 times 5 times 3 is 30. You add them all up, you get 174 inches squared. It's important to remember that anytime you talk about area, you're talking about squared units, exponent of 2. So let's move on. This time we're going to look at a cylinder, something like a soda can or even a pencil can be considered a cylinder before it's sharpened. So what you need to find here is the radius and the height. You plug them in and go. So surface area is 2 times pi is 3.14 times the radius in this case is that 5. Remember it's halfway across the center of your circle. Times the height, how tall it is, which is 7. Plus 2 times pi again times the radius squared. And once you have this stuff plugged in, you can type this in your calculator and it should give you the answer you're looking for. So 2 times pi times 5 times 7 is going to get you 219.8 plus 2 times pi times 5 squared should get you 157. Add them up and you should get your final answer of 376.8 inches squared. Let's move on to our last shape, a sphere. Any kind of ball, marble, things like that, those are all spheres. With this, the only thing you really need to know or find is the radius. Once you have that, you can plug in all your information and solve. So the surface area is four times pi, 3.14, times your radius, I'm telling you is five squared. Again, type it in your calculator, and you should get the answer you're looking for, which ends up being 314 centimeters squared. So that's how you can find the surface area for some of your more common three-dimensional shapes. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.